hello welcome to another video in this video we're going to be looking at task 20e okay so which says that we should uh, um copy this spreadsheet model and calculate the following so the following that we're going to calculate are the total the average the maximum and minimum okay so we're meant to create this table right so i've gone ahead to create mine so you can you can uh, pause this video and create your own okay so the only thing that i'm going to do here is to format uh, some of the cells okay to look exactly to look like what we have in the uh, in the question okay uh in case you notice that my voice is different i don't know my voice is getting cracked i don't know i'm losing my voice a little bit but that's okay we can move on okay so what i'm going to do is to click on, uh, click on a1 and then hold down my control key and then select these and then go ahead to select these okay and then make them bold okay and then format b1 to be currency in pounds okay so now it's looking like what we have so the next thing i'm going to do is to calculate the total which we're going to use function is some function to do so first of all before you start any calculation of course you have to start with equal sign so i'm going to do some i must as well double click there to take it and then of course it's going to add everything within this range for us and then give and then give the result right there okay good stuff so um, the next one is the average so equals average suggest that for me then i select the range so it's going to calculate the average within this range okay good stuff so i'm going to say equals even though i did not close the uh, bracket but excel will automatically automatically close that for me so if you look at the uh, formula bar you see that excel has done that for you so that's a cool stuff so uh the next one is the maximum so this time around i'm not going to choose from the suggestion i'm just going to type everything uh, myself okay so max so you, you can actually um you can work on lowercase all right and then enter so it does that for me so so this max now within this range within the given range is going to calculate just going to um is going to give or uh it's going to simply calculate the highest number and then um drop the answer the drop the result right there at b what b11 okay so the same thing with minimum so the minimum will, will will look at the the range and then um supply the minimum number which is which is of course four right so i think that's it so we're expecting four right there so that's how it is done so this is how you can calculate total average maximum and minimum okay now uh before i go let, let me just uh, introduce this introduce us a little bit let me introduce us a little bit to um named range okay so how we can use named range how we can create one and use use it even though in the former um in the former task we've done that but let me just show you how you can actually use it in, in calculation so what i'm going to do here is simply to name my range here okay this i'm going to use this range for calculation so i'm going to right click on it i'm go and go to name range i mean uh, define name right uh, let me not use that let me just go to form formula and then go to define name okay since i've already taught us how to do that in the former tasks so if you have not watched that you can check the task i think 20 c or d something like that all right um i will leave the description below so you can always go, go to watch them all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to give this my range something like this so probably give it a comment want to use it for calculation want to use it for calculation something like that okay so i'm going to okay but right so i'm going to use that for calculation equals some I, I open so sorry i open that and then instead of uh, setting my range i will just type the range and then the name of the range will come out right here and then i enter so the same thing i will do for average then oh sorry yeah of course and then type my range the named range yeah and then it gets that done for me and then i have a uh, max max and then uh, my yep my range it does that for me so it selects the range for me equals mean then i have uh, my range again good stuff 
so it does that for me so everything is is cool right so um so that's how you can actually use range right to do your calculations so if you click on any of them any of the calculations you will see that you use it uses the name range here if you look at the uh, what's it called the formula bar right good stuff so let's assume i don't want the range okay probably most of you you must have created quite a number of ranges right and you don't know how to remove them so if you go back if you go back to formula and then come and then go to define names right you will see the name manager right here so you click on it so if you've created if you've created multiple ranges and stuff like that in different places all of them are going to are going to be listed here all right so you can click on anyone you want and then delete them okay so that's how you can do that now if i delete it it's going to mess up my calculation here so i can go back there and then right click and then go to define name and then give it my range again and then all my calculations will come back okay so you can always go remove all your name ranges here all right all your named range yeah all your name range all of them you can just get them all out here all right so uh, that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, share my video also like the video okay thanks so much have a lovely day bye